Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, Lance Sergeant Stuart Lane talks about playing the last post on a 1915 bugle during the vigil held in Westminster Abbey for the centenary of the Battle of the Somme on the 30th of June 2016. My name is Lance Sergeant Stuart Lane of the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards. I work at Regimental Headquarters Welsh Guards in Wellington Barracks. Wellington Barracks is situated on Birdcage Walk, probably around about three to 400 metres away from Buckingham Palace. On the 30th of June in Westminster Abbey, there is a service for the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In the service, I'll be sounding last post from a place called the Lantern Door. The Lantern Door is situated above the altar and the very highest point of the Abbey. The bugle that I'll be using to sound the last post was issued to the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards in 1915, the year of their formation. Its serial number is 10, which indicates that it was one of the first batch of bugles given to the battalion. The bugle itself is about 10 inches long. It's made from copper and it's made from brass. The edge of the bell is the brass area. This gives it the ability to sound extremely rich and soft in its tone. The mouthpiece is the original mouthpiece issued with the bugle. This in itself proves extra challenges. It's not like a normal mouthpiece, it's flat and it's not very easy to play. The bugle has a standard bugle cord on it with two tassels and the colours are gold, red and blue. The bugle would have been taken by the Corps of Drums to the Battle of the Somme in 1916. It's an incredible honour and a privilege to be able to hold and to play a bugle that is 101 years old I feel very privileged to be playing Last Post in honour of all those brave people that gave their lives. That brings us to the end of our podcast series. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant.